In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the really awesome pixel fade in effect for your text right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get right into the video. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you've created a brand new sequence, we want to begin by creating a brand new legacy title. So we'll go file, new, legacy title. We'll press okay on this window. And then you just want to go ahead and select anywhere on this black monitor and type out whatever you want to type. So I'm just gonna type in Brooker, my last name. We'll change the font of this. We'll change the weight of this. We'll change the height. We'll make sure this is white. And then we'll center that up using those two center buttons. Now, once you're happy with the look of the text, we can just go ahead and we can exit the legacy title window and drag that title on to video layer one. Now, if we zoom in to the sequence, we can see we've got this really awesome text on the timeline. And now we want to go ahead and we want to animate this in. So we'll go into effects and we'll search for mosaic. Now, mosaic should be in the stylized tab. And once you've found that, you just want to drag that onto your title. Now, as you'll see, that will instantly turn your title into this really awesome blurred out glitchy effect but we want to start with this and animate out into the text. So as you can see, we can increase the horizontal blocks or we could decrease the horizontal blocks. So I'm gonna begin by pulling the horizontal blocks all the way up to around, we'll pull that all the way down to around 5% and then we'll pull the vertical blocks down to around the same. So that's set to five. Now we'll set a brand new keyframe on the horizontal and the vertical blocks and we'll move over maybe 10 keyframes to the right and now from there, you want to pull the horizontal blocks all the way up to the highest possible number. And then you want to pull the vertical blocks all the way up again. So pull that up to around 1000. And if we play this back, we've got this really quick, but really awesome mosaic effect happening. So I'm just going to zoom in to our keyframes. And as you can see, we're going to want to extend the time that this animates in. So at the moment, it's way too fast. So if we just grab those last set of keyframes and we pull those all the way over to the right, maybe one more second, and we play this back, we've got a much better mosaic effect happening. But of course, it's still a little bit too fast. So we'll pull those last two keyframes over to the right one more second. Now when we play this back, we should have this really awesome mosaic animation effect happening on our text. Awesome, that looks really cool. So now we've done the first part of that transition, we want to go ahead and do the second part. And the second part is a chromatic aberration. So in order to do the chromatic aberration effect, we want three copies of that same text. So holding option on your keyboard, you want to select title two, and you want to drag that up onto video layer two. Now on video layer two, you want to do the same thing for this copy title, drag that up onto video layer three, and you should now have three copies of that text. Now select all of the text, go into effects and search for RGB. And by doing that, it should bring up color balance RGB. Drop this onto all three videos, go onto video layer three, we'll go into color balance and we'll change the green and blue value to 0%. Now we'll go to video layer two and we'll change the red and blue values both to 0%. We'll go to the bottom layer and we'll go ahead and change red and green to 0%. So just to confirm, video layer three should have red at 39, video layer two should have green at 39, and video layer one should have blue at 39. So you've got red, blue, and green all isolated on their own channels. Now from here, we'll go ahead and change the blending mode of video layer three and two, but not one. So we'll go to three, change the blend mode from normal to screen. We'll do the same thing on video layer two, normal to screen. And as you can see, the text goes back to white. So what we're gonna do now, we'll go all the way to the very beginning. Now from here, you want to go ahead and create a brand new keyframe on video layer three on scale. So at the very beginning, we'll press scale at 100%. Now we'll go over one second to the right. And we'll create another keyframe on video layer three on the scale with this being 100%. Now we'll go back to the very beginning and we'll change the value of this keyframe from 100 to a much higher number. So we'll pull this all the way up to around 200%. And 
And as you can see, we've got this chromatic aberration effect happening, but it's a little too aggressive for my liking. So I'm just going to decrease the gap between those two keyframes. And then I'm just going to change the scale at the very beginning from 200 down to a smaller number. So we'll go to 150. And as you can see, that's starting to look really cool. So from here, I'm going to go down to video layer two. We'll go to the very beginning. Then we'll scroll all the way over to one second and we'll create a brand new keyframe on position. Now we'll go back one, two, three, four, five keyframes, pull the position over to the right. We'll go back another five keyframes, one, two, three, four, five. We'll pull this over to the left. We'll go back again, five keyframes, one, two, three, four, five. We'll pull that to the right. Go back another five keyframes, one, two, three, four, five. We'll pull this down a touch. And then we'll go up to the very beginning and we'll pull this up. Now, if we play this back, we've got video layer three and video layer two animated to glitch at the very beginning. So as you can see, that looks really awesome, but it's still a little bit too slow getting in to the title. So I'm just going to zoom into the keyframes on video layer two. And I'm just going to close down the gap in between some of these keyframes. So this basically means that we're going to get to that final keyframe a little bit faster. And as you can see, that's looking a lot better. But we just need to go ahead and we need to animate the final title layer. So that is video layer one. On this one, we're going to animate rotation. We've adjusted the scale on video layer three, the position on video layer two. So we'll go ahead and animate the rotation on video layer one. So roughly half a second into the video, you want to set a brand new keyframe on rotation at 0%. Now we'll go three keyframes to the left. We'll add some rotation. We'll go back another three keyframes and go to negative three. Go back another three, we'll make this six. Go back another three and we'll make this negative 10. Now, if we play this back, you should see we've got this really awesome chromatic aberration effect happening at the same time as this mosaic glitching effect. And there you go. That is a really awesome way of transitioning in a title layer inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So if you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. And if you are subscribed, then I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. See you there.